Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. Back from another video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. So I just did a constellation to, with the brother. Shout out to Daniel. And he was talking to me about something that I experienced too as well. And uh, every chosen one must know this, guys. I had to make, right after I got done with the call, I'm like, I gotta let pe my people know, okay? Whenever you're giving up the world and you're walking that narrow path, you're walking, you're, you're trying to become more set apart or, or set apart in general, don't tell nobody, not your family, not your friends, anybody, okay? Don't tell nobody. Now, I, I, I guess I'd balance this. Let's say if you have like a brother who's on the same faith as you, then obviously it's different. But if you have family who you know who is still in the world, who doesn't have the spirit of truth in them, it is best to just keep your plans, whatever the Most High wants you to be doing, just to yourself, okay? If God wants you to be obedient, if God wants you to... Uh, put down certain things. Don't tell nobody. Just put it down and keep it moving. Now, if someone comes back into your life to try to tempt you to do something, then you can let them know, like, "Hey, I'm just not doing this no more." But never, ever t tell other some other people, like your family, your friends, that you know God has me doing this. They're gonna look at you crazy. They're gonna look at you weird. And the Bible says to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. The Bible also says that man's enemies will be in his own household. Okay, that's an I'll leave verses throughout the whole video. Okay, and. You telling them this that oh God wants me to, God wants me to stop smoking weed. Okay, God wants me to, um, you know, give up certain things. God wants me to stop, you know, living a life of a fornicator. Okay, a warmonger. Okay, God wants me to stop doing this and you know, hanging out with this person. Right? If you tell them this, okay, the enemy, Satan, is going to use them to make you feel like you're weird, you're crazy. You need to, you need to take medication. You need to be thrown in a mental hospital. Okay, all who suffer. Um, through through Christ Jesus, I'll suffer prosecution. Okay, you got to That's why to avoid the prosecution. Now it's gonna come regardless. But one way you could avoid it, I could avoid it before they threw me in the chambers. <laughs> okay, before they, I, I should have just kept my mouth shut and just be and, and serve God and, and understand this too, guys. Right? You don't have to tell people anything you're doing for God because eventually your light is gonna beam. People are gonna be. People are gonna see you changing before you start to see it. Before people are gonna see it, bro, and they're gonna be like, you know, wow, like, what are you doing? Like, what, what's, what's, what's up with you? They don't understand that God is transforming you. He's renewing your spirit. He's renewing your mind. He's transforming your life. He's empowering you, so now you can empower others. Okay, but I, and when you're in that stage of isolation, when you're in that season, the season of isolation, when you're in the season of okay, time to stay alone so God can fix me, renew me. Okay, you gotta understand that. Don't tell, don't tell nobody, bro. I'm telling you, don't tell nobody because if you tell someone, the enemy is gonna use them. Because if you don't tell no one, right, the enemy won't know. The enemy won't, well, the enemy won't know. But if you start to tell people, your friends, your, your so-called friends, you know, your family members, okay, they're gonna have open doors to try to, you know, prosecute you to attack you. So keep things to yourself. And like I said, just sir, I'm telling you guys, you're gonna be blessed. Obedience. The Bible even says, when a man's ways please the Lord, when it please the Most High God. Even his enemies will be at peace with him, okay? So don't brag. Even the Bible says that, you know, when you pray, you're not supposed to be like the hypocrites and pray in public. You have, you know, I see videos of people in the streets praying. Um, or like I was, I was, I would go live stream in the past, Mark, can you say pray for me? The Bible says you're supposed to pray in, in private. You're not supposed to pray in public. You're not supposed to, don't be doing things to be seen by people so people could praise you. Like, let's say, like you even see videos of people giving to like, giving money to the homeless people, like, it's like they want to be seen by other men, but the Bible says you're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be doing it in, in, you know, in private. You're not supposed to be. We live in a narcissistic society where people are, you know, always going to Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, you know, them helping out those in need because they want to be praised by other people. They don't want to be praised by God because if you do things in secret, God sees it because God sees all. Okay, so God will bless you publicly. When you do things in secret, when you start to fast in secret, when you don't tell nobody, uh, when you give when you give to the homeless in secret, God will bless you, bro. I'm telling you, man. But people have a narcissistic mindset. Even the Bible says in the last days that people in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, that people will be lovers of themselves. They won't want to give. They won't want to help. They won't want to show no love. Okay, you don't want to operate in that spirit. In these last days, you don't want to have that narcissism spirit. And that's plaguing. That's plaguing Babylon right now with these spirits, man. It's just destroying people. So just understand this, guys. Whenever you want to do a good deed, you don't have to you don't have to tell your friends. You don't have to tell somebody, guys. Just do it. Understand God sees all. He's the Bible even says, I'll leave verses off this whole video. I think it's Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. It says that God looks between the good and the evil. Okay. So 
just because there's no no one's recording it, just because there's no no one around you, God still sees. Okay, when you do good deeds, when you go out to the homeless, you get food or money, whatever the case may be, or when you lock yourself in your room and pray, you know, in the midst of you going through spiritual warfare in your household, God sees and He hears you. Okay, and God hears those who God doesn't hear sinners, but He hears those who do the will the will of Him. Okay, the will of God. Okay, I'll leave verses out this whole video. I ain't speaking on my own. And I'm telling you guys, I, I would have avoided a lot of prosecution if I would have just kept things to myself. When God was transforming me, when I knew that I had to give up a certain lifestyle, I told a lot of people which didn't have my best interest at heart, at the time at least. And they saw that as, oh, you need to take medication. Oh, you're just so weird. Remember, as a chosen one, we're chosen. We're, we, we're, not, we're like the 0.0001%. So when we move, when God has us move and we're obedient and we we allow him to, you know, we hear the voice and we take action. We're not just, you know, we're not just like the wicked and slothful servant who knows to do good, but doesn't do good. We're not like that no more. We're more, we're more wise. God has blessed us with wisdom, understanding and knowledge. So when God wants us to move, you know, he wants us to level up because that's God's the one who levels us up. Now, of course, we have to take action. We have to, you know, have the discipline, have the self-control, be willing to sacrifice. Okay. We'll be willing to have the, the you know the, the discipline a disciple discipline goes hand in hand so the minute we're willing to do that the minute we're willing to level up okay and as you're leveling up i tell you guys this all the time there's always going to be new devils so how do you avoid these devils from attacking you just keep things to yourself okay even before i got married guys before i got married i didn't tell nobody <laughs> i didn't tell nobody i waited months so after because if you told if i would have told my, my my friends or or not my friend my just the people who are around me. I'm like, I, don't, I don't have no friends. I have associates and brothers, okay? I have no friends, okay? So let's say if I would have told my associates, it's crazy because I did tell one. <laughs> you see, oh my man, this is a testimony. My life is a testimony, guys. I did tell one. You know what he told me before before I uh, married my wife, right? He's like, oh, you could do way better, Mark. You're way more good looking than her and so all that type of stuff. And my wife, she's fine. <laughs> she's one of the best I ever had, okay? You know, not to put on a pedestal or anything like that, but like, she's not ugly. But he was telling me, oh, Mark, you do way better. Like, Mark, you're like, you're like, you get all this and that. Just trying to plant seeds in my mind. See, but if I never told him that I was about to get married, he would have he would have never said that. The enemy used him. Trying to plant seeds in my mind. Okay. But see, I'm wise. So I understand. I'm not like Eve. Eve when she when Eve has a weak mind. So when Eve hears this type of things, like, oh, you could get way better, man. You know, she kind of like made, you know, she entertain she'll entertain those thoughts. Not me. I'm a wise man. Okay. <laughs> not me so you see how that works guys or let's say you you about to start a business right don't tell people because people are going to plant seed of discouragement are you sure you want to do that do you have to do you have enough money you know or you know a lot of businesses fail they're going to plant seeds of doubt they're going to plant, plant seeds of confusion they're going to but see if you never told them that though they would not they would never they would have never known so be wide when you move out here guys in these last days guys understand the times are evil okay if you have anything going on in your life Okay, and, and and it might not just be linked to spirituality. It might not be linked to God. It could also be linked to like, let's say, you want to start a business, something like that, right? You want to go start going to the gym. Are you sure you want to go to the gym? You know, you already look good. You already look like you're good in shape. I'm telling you guys, don't fall for the trap, bro. Don't fall for. It. Don't tell people nothing, and unless because the Bible does say that there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Now, if you have, if you do have like someone who's on, who has the same spirit as you, who's set apart, who has a spirit or love. Who has that spirit in him, the spirit of love, the spirit of Christ. Okay, you could tell him who belongs to the body of Christ. All right, you know, okay. Because you, you do want to have you, some friends in life, you guys. You don't want to be, like, you want to have some type of bond, like a brotherhood, you know, a sisterhood. You guys want to have, you know, because when, when times get hectic, you want to have a community. So when things go wrong, hey, let, let me let me borrow some sugar. Let me borrow some rice. Or let me borrow, borrow some water. You want to have, you know, you don't want to be alone alone, okay. But you got to understand that. It's, it's it's important to stay set apart because in these times, guys, a lot of snakes, Satan's children, the tares, they're manifesting. It's the wheat and the tares, and the tares are, are waging war against the wheat. It's the two-thirds, man. All prophesied in the Bible. So remember, guys, if you have anything big going on in your life, just keep it to yourself. You want to be, you want to, uh, let's say if you want to be, make music, keep it to yourself. Don't tell nobody, all right? And work in, work in private because once you start to see success, you know, there's people in the past guys told me, Mark, why are you making YouTube videos? You're still making videos? I remember people a couple months ago. <laughs> now I'm about to hit 45K. There's people who told me, Mark, you still making videos? These these same people who used to tell me that, they're praising me now. Oh, Mark, you're about to hit 100K. You're about to hit 200K. Now I'm humble, so I don't let that gas me up because I understand God gives and he takes. 
So I don't, I don't care about that. You know, I'm, I'm making videos. I'm being obedient and God's blessing me. Okay. But I understand that, you know, I got it. This is much is given, much is required. Woo! <laughs> much is given, much is required. So if God's giving me much of everything, much is required me more obedient. I can't be living like most of these dudes out here. Okay. I'm telling you guys, there's people, and I, that's why I didn't tell nobody, people I know in real life about my, my made videos. Now I don't really care because, you know, they need to hear the word, okay? In these last days, the Bible even says that there'll be a famine of the word, okay? A famine of the truth. So they, they need to hear it. You know, I remember the same people, I'm telling you guys, and this is, this is a time around, around why I wanted to give up. I was making videos for over three years. I was only getting a thousand subscribers a month, or sorry, a thousand subscribers a year, bro. A thousand, two thousand, a thousand to two thousand subscribers a year. A year. Now I get that in a day. That this past couple of months I've been getting that in a day. Okay, I wanted to back then. I wanted to give up. I was telling them, Mark, you still making videos? I remember, bro. I remember. And these the same people are still watching this video. Mark, you still making videos? You still you still have that little YouTube channel? <laughs> you still have that little YouTube channel? Tell I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing, but even back then I was laughing because I knew that this is my calling. Many are called, few are chosen. Woo! Many are called, few are chosen. I knew this was what God wanted me to do because this is how I knew God wanted me to do this, right? Even when, even when I didn't care about YouTube, I didn't care about making videos, like God put something in me to, to, to preach. This the spirit of teaching, the gift of teaching. He put that in me. I didn't want, I didn't want to be this. I, me, before I started making videos, I was a low-key dude. I didn't want the, the attention, the fame, the clout. I was more just low-key. You know, I didn't really care for all that. You know, even before I was in the truth, I, I deleted all my social media. You know, I was on my monk mode before I even knew what monk mode was. I just was done with this world. I just knew that this material world just wasn't for me no more. Like, I, I already lived it. It's fake. Uh, fake lifestyles, fake people, fake smiles. Uh, everything was just fake. I started to see through the matrix and I didn't want it no more. You know, and then that's when, and God saw that in me. So he's like, okay, I know that my son won't sell his soul because he doesn't care about this world. So I, I can promote him. I can trust him through, um, he who is trusted with little, but will be trusted with a lot. Okay. And even though I was only getting what a hundred subscribers a month, I, I kept pushing, bro. I kept making content. Not that I cared about subscribers, but it was just because I knew that this was my calling. And eventually in due time, when it's my time to shine, when it's my season, my season of, to, to reap what I sow, that I'm going to be blessed. And now I got to be blessed because of obedience. I'm not just blessed because you see people, they don't see the hard work he put in. They don't see the nights of the sweat, the blood, the tears. They don't see that part. They just see the success. They just see the subscribers going up. They don't see all the hard work I put into this stuff, bro. They don't see that because best believe I got to make sure my spirit's in check before I make these videos. It's not just, it's not just, you know, I can't make it because whatever case of reason, I got to make sure my spirit's in check. I got to practice what I preach. That's the hard part. Okay. Oh, being obedience. That's the hardest thing on your self-improvement journey. That's the hardest thing. Okay. But that's the thing that gets you to new levels. That's the thing that really get blessed. That's that. So, you know, through much is given, much is required. Woo. So guys, understand this and measure this video. Keep things to yourself. Don't tell your enemies. Okay. Cause you could be, you could, you, you could be telling your, your so-called friend. A family member whole time, that's the enemy, okay? Even the Bible says, put not your trust in a friend. Even the Bible says that. I'm gonna leave scriptures throughout this whole video. So I hope you guys understand this video. If you haven't already made this far, and if you haven't, smash the like button. If you if you haven't subscribed to the channel, that's that's a red flag because us chosen ones, we gotta stick together. The last days, the, the tares are manifesting among the wheat. Satan's children are revealing themselves to more and more. We go into these last days. Okay. And what do they do? What do Satan's children do? They just watch God's children because they know that we have the wisdom, we have the knowledge, and they're feeding off of us, but they can't show us no love. They can't show us no love. <laughs> Woo! Don't forget to check out the end screen right here or right here, wherever I'm putting it at. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.